Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at the 10 most horrifying gang rituals around the world. So these are famous and unknown gangs and they're from America and other parts of the world. And these guys do the most shocking and crazy things, so be warned guys, you will be shocked after watching this video. But definitely leave a like if you enjoy, let's aim for 8,000 likes on this video because it really does help me out. So coming in at number 10, we have Eating a Child's Heart by the Knights Templar Cartel. So this one is from a Mexican gang called the Knights Templar Cartel and they do a ton of different crimes like drug trafficking, prostitution and assassinations, and even organ trafficking, which is where people drug people at bars and stuff by putting a pill in their drink and then they go unconscious and then they cut them open and steal their organs while they're unconscious. And this can also happen to kids if they get kidnapped by the gang. And this happens a lot in the Knights Templar cartel and they actually use this to recruit members. So let's say I want to be a new member of the gang and I want to join up, well that means I have to eat a kid's heart. That's right, they use their organ trafficking business and buy a child's heart and then they make any new recruits eat it and I guess it's just to show how fucked up you're gonna have to be if you want to join So it's kind of like preparation and this is so disgusting and nasty Especially as it's kids who are being killed for this stuff And this isn't even some kind of satanic ritual gang or whatever This is just a regular Mexican cartel gang and it's just to show your loyalty But through cannibalism really and a lot of people join this gang and obviously that means a lot of kids have to be killed So their hearts can get eaten which is obviously so messed up and mind-blowing that people would really do this So coming up next we have urine baptism by the Hell's Angels. So this one isn't gory like the one before, this one is just straight up disgusting. And I'm sure you guys all know the American motorbike gang, the Hell's Angels, and they're probably one of the most famous gangs in America because of their history of violence. And they also do other crimes like kidnapping people and holding them to ransom. But one day a journalist called Hunter Thompson was doing research on the Hell's Angels, but he had to stop pretty soon after because they randomly attacked him. But one thing he did see from the gang is how you join. So if you want to join, you have to do something called a urine baptism. And I'm sure you guys all know what a baptism is, it's where you pour water over someone for Christianity, but a Hell's Angels urine baptism is when they get a bucket of shit and urine from the gang members, and then all of that stuff in the bucket is poured over the head of the new member. So guys, if you like bikes and killing people, then join the Hell's Angels. But just be warned, when they ask to baptize you, they don't mean with water. So coming up next, we have Drinking Blood by Chinese Triad Gangs. So in China and Hong Kong, they have a lot of these triad gangs, which are so powerful in China, and they carry out assassinations, and drug selling, and also controlling some big businesses. And these gangs have been around for thousands of years and sometimes are really old fashioned. And a lot of these old fashioned traditions and rituals, they've kept up even today. And when people join, it's not usually just one person, it's usually a lot of people who are joining all at the same time. And all of the guys who want to join have to inject blood out of them, and then the gang mix the blood together, and then everyone drinks each other's blood. And if you want to join, you don't just have to drink blood, you also have to memorize hundreds of triad poems, which can take months to memorize, and if you don't say them right, you can be killed because they might think you're an imposter to the gang. I mean, shit, I'd rather drink blood than spend days memorizing poetry. Then again, I can't see myself joining a Chinese triad gang anytime soon. So coming up next, we have Box Cutter by the United Blood Nation. So this is from a gang called the United Blood Nation, and don't get confused with the Bloods like Bloods and Crips, because the Bloods United Nation is basically a prison gang in New York. And it started with just two people, but now there's over 500 members of the prison gang, and if you want to join, then you have to do something that's really weird called blooding in. And as it sounds, blood Blooding in is basically getting the blood of another prison inmate, usually by slashing their face with a box cutter. And they also have to yell out 014 before slashing the inmate because that's the number the gang uses to identify the members. But this can sometimes backfire if the slashing goes wrong and the guy can get jumped by the person he has to slash and then get beaten up and sometimes even killed. And another thing that can give you away and get you beat up or killed before you can even try and cut the guy is when they have to scream 014 before slashing them. Yeah, probably best not to scream that you're gonna kill someone right before you do it. I mean, can you imagine? Imagine any other criminal doing something like that. Hey, uh, I'm thinking of robbing a house, but before I do it, I'm gonna shout to the whole street that I'm gonna rob the house. That sound good? Uh, let me think. Uh, no! But coming up next, we have Murder by the Aryan Brotherhood. So if you guys haven't heard of the Aryan Brotherhood, they're basically a really racist prison gang. And they basically only like white people and only let white people join the gang. And they actually started in the 1960s when the civil rights movement got rid of the segregation of white and black people in prison. And I guess you could say they took it into their own hands by segregating the prison themselves. But nowadays, the gang does a ton of crime in prisons such as male prostitution, drug smuggling into the prisons and stealing money and even making people pay for their protection. But if you guys ever get locked up and want to join their gang, well first make sure you're white and secondly you have to do something called making bones, which involves murdering a rival gang member of either a Latino or black prison gang or one of the prison workers themselves. And this can often backfire and either get the guy killed or put in jail for longer. But a lot of people still do this so they have more protection in prison. But comment what you guys 
guys would do, kill someone or risk being beaten up and stolen from every day? Honestly, I don't even want to think about that question. But coming up next, we have sex or beating by the Numbers Gang. So this is a really crazy prison gang from South Africa, and they were created by one really powerful prisoner. And the reason they're called the Numbers Gang is because there's three parts to the gang, the 26s, the 27s, and the 28s. And that's basically like their hierarchy. The 26s are the lowest, and they're male prostitutes, which are pimped out by the gang. The 27s are kind of like in the middle, and they basically collect money from people for protection, and they also kill people. And the 28s are the gang leaders, who don't do much, but they get a lot of the profit. And the way these guys recruit people is really weird and dumb. In fact, this is probably the dumbest one on this entire list. So basically, they ask new recruits if it was raining outside and he was with a fellow gang member, and he only had one umbrella, what would he do? And if they say they would share the umbrella, they put them in the 26s to become prostitutes. But if they say they would step into the rain with the other gang member, then they pass the first stage and go into the 27s. But even after that, they have to attack a prison guard and then endure the beating from them that you'll definitely get after attacking them without making a sound. So yeah, either way, these aren't very good options. But coming up next, we have beating by the Junky Funky Kids. So this gang is really weird just because they mainly recruit kids like in high school. And they're in Cape Town in South Africa. And the way you're initiated into the gang is also really weird. So I'm sure you guys have all heard of being jumped into a gang, which basically means you're attacked by a ton of gang members and stomped and punched. And then if you survive, then you're allowed to be in the gang. Well, these guys basically do that, but on steroids. Because instead of just standing there and then getting beaten up, the recruit has to run from one end of a room to another while being attacked. So this is like a really violent obstacle course. And also instead of using hands and feet to attack the new member, they use weapons like wooden planks, clubs, and other things. And if you survive all of that crazy shit, then and only then are you allowed in the gang. And also it's even more crazy because these aren't grown adults. And the minimum age for the gang can actually be up to 12 years old, which is insane. So coming up next, we have cross burning by the KKK. So you guys all know the KKK, that really racist group who used to kill a ton of black people in America back like 40 years ago. Well, believe it or not, there's still some around today. And this one is a bit easier to get into, probably because it's pretty rare that anyone even wants to be in the KKK. Like, I understand why some people join prison gangs for money and protection, but if you join the KKK, all you're gonna get is a ton of hate and maybe even arrested. But yeah, to get into the KKK, you have to do something really offensive, which is burning a Christian cross. So you basically go into a forest and build a huge cross out of wood, and then you just set fire to it and watch it burn. And obviously, that's a really offensive thing to do to Christians, but it's also offensive to black people, Asian people, Latino people, I mean shit, pretty much anyone who isn't white. And that's because they see it as a symbol of racial purity, which means having only white people because the KKK doesn't want any other races to exist, which is obviously pretty crazy. And this gang can sometimes be dangerous for you to join, and that's because in the street, and that's because the KKK sometimes do protests and rallies in the street, and as you guys can probably imagine, they get completely attacked. But coming up next, we have fireworks fights by the Tatung gangs. So this is a really crazy and action-filled gang ritual, and what happens is in Taiwan, they used to do this thing called Bombarding Master Hadan, which is where people would throw firecrackers at a shirtless prisoner who represented Master Hadan, who was the god of wealth, and they believed it would bring wealth to all of the people in the village. But in the 1970s, gangs took over this tradition and used it to choose their new gang leader. So basically, the candidates for the new leader of the Tatung gangs are pelted with firecrackers and other fireworks, and then whoever survives and doesn't give up first gets to be the new leader of the gang. So obviously, this is a really painful way to pick new gang leaders, but if any of you guys happen to be wanting to become the new leader of a Tatung gang, then don't worry too much, because just like the presidential election, this only happens once every four years. And coming up last on this list, we have Assassination by the Macballer Brims. So this is a gang in the Bronx in New York, and they're actually a branch of the really famous Bloods gang around America. And these guys do the normal gang stuff like prostitution, selling drugs, and violence. But what's really crazy about these guys is the thing you have to do to actually join the gang. Firstly, you have to be jumped in like what I was talking about before, but that's not all. You also have to do some tasks to show how loyal and useful you are, which is usually killing a police officer or a member of a rival gang. And in 2012, one 14-year-old recruit had to kill a rival gang member to get in, but he ended up missing his target when he tried to shoot him, and then the police was nearby and they chased him down and unfortunately shot him and killed him. And I know this guy was trying to kill someone, but even so, it's still so sad that he got caught up in gang culture at only 14 and died because of it. So yeah guys, basically, to sum up this video, if you're ever thinking of joining a gang, then don't. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the most shocking gang ritual. For me, it's the Knights Templar Cartel, just because I can't believe they eat kids' hearts. But as always, thank you guys for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe!